Pokemon Scarlet Violet Patch 1.1.0 is now out. Everyone's asking the same question, can you still do the dupe glitch? I'm here to tell you, yes you can, but... Okay, so let's have a look at exactly how you can pull it off. We're also going to check some of the other glitches, the smaller glitches and stuff, to see what actually is still viable in patch 1.1.0. But um, let's just get straight to the big one, because everyone is wondering about this first patch. So first of all, guys, we're going to set up here in our game that's not updated. Okay, this is a non-updated game for our legendary. We're going to do some dupes for our legendary. Now, so the real news here is the dupe glitch is not patched. Okay, but uh, the big but is you have to keep your stock of duped legendaries before you update the game because the part that is patched is you cannot dupe any new legendaries. You can't dupe them. However, you can still duplicate if you have the legendary. So I actually happen to have none. So if you guys have not updated your game yet, or if you just started accidentally downloading it when you clicked into it, uh, you will have to go rapidly into your game before it's finished downloading, and that will save you from getting 1.1.0, and it will give you a shot to get the dupes that you need to stock up on, so you can do these dupes anytime you want. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do there. Uh, right, just like usual guys, let's get our Karaid into battle form, yes. And we're going to go make a duplication of him. So let's go ahead and catch this. Now guys, keep in, keep in mind, this is still unupdated, all right? You have to be unupdated to be able to dupe the legendary. However, once you've duped a few legendaries, you can still do the duplication glitch absolutely fine in the update. So let's go ahead and catch this. The part that's patched is the A, B inputs. That's the main part that has been patched. So you can't do the A, B input to get the glitch, which is what I'm about to show you right here. Let me get this. It will ask you to add to party, like usual. Add to your party, yes. And then go down to your Coridon, right there, and then hit AB, like really, really quickly. AB, like that. And Tutor will be added to your party, Coridon is sent to your boxes. You're not supposed to be able to do that, but we did it. So it is absolutely safe to save with a cloned legendary. I recommend it you don't, just, be, just in case, guys. It was just in case, of course. It was definitely better to be safer than sorry in this case. We're going to go ahead and reset our game. And I'm going to show you that we now will be able to have 1.1.0 and do some dupes. Okay, so now we have Pokemon Scarlet 1.1.0. And we're going to go into the game here. And I'm going to dupe. All right, I'm gonna dupe because you can dupe just like normal with a cloned legendary and I'll show you exactly how. All right, so once you're in your game, now this is where things come a little important, okay? So make sure you have your ride legendary like normal right there. If you guys wanna dupe, you have your stock of cloned legendaries in your box. However, in 1.1.0, which is necessary to do all the online features like trading, battle stadium, and participating in raids with other people, if you have one cloned legendary in your party like this, like if you went to want to clone here, you can't participate in online. It's illegal. You cannot do this. However, also putting it in your party means you cannot move it back. So this is why you'll need to have a stock of cloned legendaries if you want to start duping throughout the future. Because once you put it in your party, you're, you're locked into your session to dupe it before you can do online. All right. So after that, the duping is just exactly the same as before. We're going to go ahead and put an item on him. Let's go ahead and use a rare candy. Now, let's go ahead and give a rare candy. We have 35 rare candies on him, and now we have 34, and you can see he's holding one now. So let's go ahead and dupe the same way as before, everyone. It's exactly the same. Before you put him in your party, make sure your ride Pokemon's still down there in your list, because if it's not, <laughs> yeah, just you're going to lose out your Karide, and that's all. Uh, let's put it in return form. Return ride form, just like normal. Boxes. So hit X twice, L, and we can put away our held item. We get our rare candy back, as you can see from my bag here. 35 again, and he's still holding his rare candy, the Coridon. So that's how you dupe. You can still dupe in 1.1.0, but you are going to need to stock up on those cloned legendaries for when you want to do it. So what about the glint item dupe glitch? Well, let's give that a whirl right now and see if that still works. So make sure you situate your picnic where your egg basket will appear right over the glint item. That's fine. That's good enough. It's touching it. It's under the pillow. That's exactly what you want. And in your party, you're going to want two Pokemon that can breed at least, which is our Houndour 
and our other whopper popper here. So let's go ahead and give them a minute to get it on. <laughs> After you give them a couple of minutes to make some eggs, let's go ahead and check our basket and see if we can get the item. There was a potion inside the basket. Okay, so the early duping with the picnic still works. And yeah, you can still see after picking up the potion that there is still a glint item there. So yes, this glitch does still work indeed. Have fun with that. At least we still have that glitch. Okay, guys, that is your duping 101 for patch 1.1.0. Hopefully it does help everybody out. Hopefully you didn't already update without any clone legendaries to be able to do this. It seems to be good to just stockpile on a few of them. Keep them around for when you do really want to dupe. However, like I said, you don't really need to dupe anything beyond a couple of Master Balls because the DLC ain't going to come that hard a packing. And the Quick Balls and all that stuff are really powerful already anyway. And then just as many ability patches as you feel safe to have. I've done about 100 myself and I'm, able, I'm free to move on. I do have one backup Coridon in my box, so I'm going to be able to use that. Whenever I do run into a sticky patch where I need more money, I'll be able to clone ability patches. That's all you really need, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub. I'll see you around in the next one. Till then, bye.